One Piece. Juwan. A Juwan Piece. This is One Piece chapter 1075. Man, it feels like yesterday. It was just 1,000. <laughs> yeah. Uh, damn. 75 chapters from then. Mm-hmm. And that's with breaks, too. Mm-hmm. Sheesh. Lots of them. Yeah. Uh, chapter 1075, Labo Phase Death Game. Um, so we get this cover page, and we've been covering this uh, cover page series specifically because it's very relevant to what's going on right now. Uh, we see that Vegapunk has uh, secured himself a meeting with the five elders when he was a younger man uh, before he chopped off half his head and made it into a giant satellite in an I- on an island. Um, mm-hmm. So that's interesting. He's pretty hyped about it. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's probably going to be too. Oh, yeah. He's like, I'm going to get paid right now. <laughs> I'm going to get this money. Uh and the chapter picks up where we left off, where uh, there is somebody inside of the Labo phase, which is the higher plane of the uh, Egghead Island, where the satellites live and where all the majority of the uh, scientific work that Vegapunk does happens. Um, somebody has been uh, messing around with it and basically trapped the Straw Hats and the Vegapunk satellites uh, up there uh, using like the laser barrier that the Vegapunks employed. So they're just trying to figure all this stuff out. Plus, Pythagoras uh, has been blown up, it seems, at that point, uh, by a mysterious figure. And uh, we open with uh, Shaka trying to figure out the what the fuck is going on here. Uh, and he peeps on the radio, on like the monitors, that there's a figure just running around and just swiping these uh, cameras, basically the snail cameras that they have. Um, so somebody is on this island messing up, and uh, from the looks of it, it looks like Jay Garcia Saturn, the Celestial Dragon, seems to be on this island himself doing this shit. Uh, and is that who that was? It looks like him. It certainly looks like him. If you see the outline, if you look yeah, closely, they have the same outline, a similar outline. Like the hair, the little like hat that he has. I think that's him for sure. It could also be Saul. Well, why would it be Saul? Saul's like a friend. <clears throat> I don't know. We don't. We, we haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> Saul the the giant. Yeah, Saul yeah. is. Why we, would that be Saul? How the fuck? No way. He's not in that. His big ass, that nibble. No one's seen him yet. Yeah, I I didn't think it's Saul. <laughs> if it was Saul, Saul should be Saul. You guys are gonna be like, "Wow, Brian, you're so smart and right all the time." If that happens, I'll, then I will I'll, say that. I'll bow to you respectfully for sure. For um, sure. shown in style you know what i'm saying if you're mm-hmm. right for sure for sure i could do that at least yeah definitely but with that said boy is you off the mark what are you gonna do if you're wrong I mean, Brian? <laughs> you're like a star wars stupid like <laughs> with your aim right now with this one come on there's no a way star that's trooper. All. <laughs> yeah you know uh whatever the fuck they're called anyway jay garcia is around fucking shit up uh and luffy is he, how is that? I'm not. That's uh, Jay that Garcia. Kizaru's there I'm not too? letting you move on yet. Wait. What do you mean? <laughs> how do you know that's Jay Garcia? It looks. It kind of looks like that him. again. Is that is that the guy we? That was the that, that was, was the guy with Kizaru. Cool, right? That was, that was the, guy the old with, guy. Yeah. Yeah, the Goro say. The one of the five elders. I'm not saying old people can't do miraculous things in the One Piece world. It's not really what I'm implying. <laughs> really is old. I know. He's like the oldest or something. <laughs> well, anyway. Well, technically, Kareha's probably the oldest. Why would he be running around? Like, why would he be running around fighting? Because he's oh. that guy. <laughs> well, he was sent there. He, he probably went over there for a reason. It's not like he's just going to show up and just well, sit there. And there's watch. another reason I have reason to believe that Jay Garcia is on the island. That is not enough. That's not enough. He doesn't. I'll explain it. I'll explain it in the f- because there's more hints that it's him for sure. Um, All right, I, we can move forward. I okay, so Luffy is noticing that something's wrong, and he's like messing with his like little ear thing, and talking about how like he can't hear like their voices anymore. And I don't know if he's like using hockey or he just can't like communicate with them with the ear thing. It's probably the mm-hmm. ear thing. Yeah, it's the ear. yeah, it's um, a antenna. Yeah, communicator or whatever. 
Yeah, so he's just asking uh, Shaco what's going on. Meanwhile, we get to see what the other Straw Hats are up to. Uh, Nami and Brooke have teamed up with Edison, and uh, they're they're all looking for Vega Punk. Essentially, uh, everybody's spread out to look for the main body of Vega Punk. So, and Nami has found like some random treasures, and she's just basically stealing from them. Um, they're synthetic diamonds that she finds, um, but you know she's pretty stoked about that, even though they're fake. <laughs> it looked real enough. Mm-hmm. It works for her. Uh, meanwhile, we see that Chopper is teamed up with Robin and Atlas. And uh, Chopper is just asking Atlas questions about how, like, her... Oh, so your face is a mask? And he's like, yeah, I can change my looks and body however I want. That's what the future is like. And they pass by these, like, little vats uh, where these organisms that look like bacteria, I guess, just floating in there. Uh, Robin is like, oh, is this Vegapunk? And she's like, uh, no, those are organoids uh, in these vats, the lab-grown organs, you know, indispensable tech to the future of medicine. And Chopper's stoked. He's like, oh, my God, you can make organs. That's incredible. Uh, and Robin is just like, oh, I thought they were the dismem- dismembered bits of Vegapunk. <laughs> and she's like, jeez. Damn. Yeah, that's Robin's thing. She she just be saying the darkest shit sometimes. Uh, with a regular face. <laughs> um, meanwhile, Luffy walks in and is like, hey, what the hell's going on, Shaka? And uh, Shaka's trying to communicate with the other satellites. Um, so Vega, uh, Shaka explains that all the cameras on the, on the island are going out one by one and that there's definitely someone here sabotaging the lab. Um, meanwhile, we cut over to uh, the 2F, 2F building B. Uh, where we see that Sanji has teamed up with Jinbei and uh, Stussy and, you know, also looking for Vegapunk. Um, Usopp has teamed up with Frankie, uh, Lilith, and I forget the sixth Vegapunk, what her name is, but she's like the... York? York, yeah. Probably York. Uh, And they come across the bridge that was just blown up where Pythagoras was, and they find what seems to be Pythagoras's dead body on the ground. And they're just like freaking out. But then uh, the little uh, Pythagoras head pulls up and is like, oh, don't shoot. I'm here. <laughs> it's me, Pythagoras. Um, and they're trying to understand what happened. Uh, Pythagoras explains that they they don't know what happened. Uh, he's like, could we have made a mistake in the design here? What? Sauce. Where's York? Um, and uh, Pythagoras is, notices that York's not there, but we see that York has split off from them and is petting one of the seraphims, the Boa Hancock seraphim specifically. Um, and she's like, oh, you're so cute. And uh, it's a trap. And uh, she gets immediately uh, stone faced by the seraphim, uh, by the uh, Boa Hancock seraphim. And it turns her into stone. And they're like, oh, my God, what's happening? Why are you attacking us? And uh, she shoots her laser, causing Frankie, Usopp, Lilith, and uh, Pythagoras all to fall. Pythagoras is confused because he's a Vegapunk, and he's not getting her to listen to her orders. Uh, it is not cool what's going on here. Um, so, yeah, basically kind of com- uh, confusion all around. Frankie suggests that they fight back. But Lilith is like, no, we can't win and beat them in a fight. We created them to be the ultimate form of humanity. Um, <laughs> speaking of which, uh, we then cut back over to where Luffy and Zoro were hanging. And we see that uh, the Mihawk Seraphim and the Kuma Seraphim have uh, arrived together to attack them. That's not good news. Because <laughs> uh, these are probably the arguably the strongest ones of their time in uh in the seven warlords so i imagine their seraphims are just as tough um oh yeah but they simultaneously simultaneously fire off attacks and uh the straw hats uh grab luchi and kaku and uh dodge the attack um so shaka's like they're not obeying me that would mean vegapunk gave them the orders and some uh so you know basically at the end of it all Someone's trying to kill us all, and it's been planned from the start. Uh, at that point, Luchi and Kaku wake up from being KO'd, um, and they're like, kill us all? You Seraphim think we're a big joke? And uh, they turn over to the to Luffy and Zoro, and they say, 
hey, how about we p- hit pause on our beef and we team up? We can help take these yeah. shackles off. Uh, <laughs> to which Damn. Zoro, to which Zoro and uh, Luffy respond with like, uh, with the <laughs> yeah, with that face that Josh is doing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, they said you don't seem to like that. And that's where the chapter ends. Uh damn, lots of stuff to talk about. Josh, what did you think about One Piece chapter 1075? I think this was a cool change of pace chapter because the uh the previous fruit the previous chapters were uh kind of lore specific like they were trying to like building up to us this like backstory where this kind of just took a little break from that from like world building so it was it was nice um i i actually can't think about anything else right now but why you believe that's that absolutely <laughs> oh um sadder. well because we know that the only this is the time for you to explain because we know that the only people that are we know that the only people that are above Vegapunk that can give Vega the Seraphim orders are the Celestial Dra- not the Celestial Dragons the um Gorose yeah the Gorose so they're there they're they're fucking shit up here yeah but we also established that um like I think if they're of the same clearance level they can't override orders well there's a hierarchy where it's like members of the CP zero um. Sentomaru, the Vegapunks, and the Celestial Dragon slash the Five Elders. So it could be that there's a Vegapunk that betrayed them and gave an order to destroy them. It could be. It's a possibility. Mm. But it, it is likely Shaka. that is Jake saying. That's what Shaka thinks it is. But you know. all right, because um, wait, that's what that's what Shaka said. Shaka said that a Vegapunk must have given them the orders, but they also don't know that it's one of the five elders here. Like they have, they oh, would have no that's reason. The only one that's higher. Yeah, they would have no reason to suspect that the five elders would come down here. It's crazy that they are though. If because look at it, look at this fucking one outline. Of them are, at least, yeah, it's definitely it, one of them is here. Look at him. It's the same outline. It looks like him. Yeah, it looks like him a lot. I'm gonna. I'm, I, I pulled him up. I can't see it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's him. Bro. You want to talk about... that's All right, contrivance isn't the word, but man, does it feel like it's the right word. Why? That's... What's so crazy about them being it's able to blurry. fight? It's That's it's not. It's not the same. It could be him. Most it likely, looks though. like that's him. Based off of his silhouette. That it could all right, be I accept the... <laughs> It's not guaranteed. Okay, all right, him, maybe because he does have this. The you see the little right. the hair. I just think that if he I, is yeah. here, then that means that that Kizaru's already here as well. That's a possibility. That's what I'm the That's, fuck are they waiting for? I'm pretty sure they would have mentioned that Kizaru showed up. To be honest, I we'll see. I have a distinct feeling it's it's him for sure. But those are my reasons: the silhouette plus the fact that the only people above. The Vegapunks, who are looking f- who ha- who are looking for the vague like the main Vegapunk, unless like Vega the Stella is out here doing this shit. Yeah, but he needs to leave. <laughs> He's trying to leave the all ship. Right, I think. The, I, I think. All right. I think the the Stella is betraying them. Which one? I and mean, I think oh, the Stella is just lurking around. That would be crazy. That last one's I'm crazy. I'm with Brian actually on this one. The Stella. I think it is I, Saul. I, I, think, I think I have I'm a feeling that it's Saul. Saul than, <laughs> You're than Jay Garcia. And no, it's not because I'm being spiteful. You are being spiteful. That's crazy. <laughs> you say that. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> wild that you're saying that. It's it's him. <laughs> it's Jay Garcia. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> J. Garcia. No way. I think that these ed- these elders are strong as shit. <laughs> they should be. They're probably like... Especially the really tall ones. And I think it's more interesting if they could all just fight. Imagine that. Like, these characters are usually just like 
the the dark council that don't really do anything that got goons for them. But if the council, oh. <laughs> yeah, but if the oh, Gorosei happened. themselves can fight, hmm, that's another one on one battles extraordinaire that has to happen. I'm not. Oh, almost made me spin my chair, bro. Uh, <laughs> almost. Cool. almost. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, almost, almost. That, that's uh. That's, that sounds awesome. It is awesome. In more ways than one. And what if he's not the only one mobilized? What if, like, all of them split off into different parts of the world to handle different situations? Oh, yeah. What else is going on <laughs> that they would split off? That would for? be pretty fire. Well, well, what would you say, right. Brian? They all have abilities based on their planet. Or yeah, they all probably have abilities. They all probably have uh, devil fruits of some sort. I would not put it past them to be able to fight. But yeah, Josh, what else did you think about this chapter? I thought nothing else actually. Oh. <laughs> Brian, oh, did you have any key thoughts? Um, over. I thought it. I think the prospect of Luffy and Zoro teaming up with um Luchin and. Is it Kaku or Haku? Yeah, Kaku. It's Kaku, right? Kaku. Yes. Um, I think the prospect of those guys working together is a super fun fucking idea. <laughs> I'm really interested to see how it play how it plays out. I'm pretty sure they're gonna end up backstabbing them eventually for sure, because that's just how they are. Mm-hmm. But I think this is a I think they're setting up a lot of interesting little um little team ups and and setups for the future and stuff so i'm i'm really looking forward to see what happens cuz it a lot of these chapters have just been set up you know mm-hmm. we haven't gotten to the real meat of the of the arc yet cuz right now he's just he's establishing a lot of the scenarios but once shit kicks into fucking full storm it's going to be crazy good yeah yeah uh with those all your thoughts uh, Brian? i need to interject oh yeah go for it so, Brian, you said you're pretty excited for this team up. Yeah, I'm interested. It's going to be fun. Chris, how do you feel? Are you excited for the potential team up? Yeah, I was going to say it's uh, pretty interesting. I mean, we have precedent that the CP0 don't exact, oh, well, like these guys specifically, Luchi Kaku, the other CP9 members, they've been at odds with the government before. Mm. So mm-hmm, it's not like mm-hmm. an out of nowhere type of thing. It's pretty cool. Possibility there. Okay, okay. So, you know, before you get into your real deep thoughts, Okay, so and I would I'm 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 very interested at the prospect of that happening as well. However, let's play a game. Let's say if you took your age and subtracted it by fifteen, how excited would you have been at this moment? I'd be fifteen. Let's so... go with Brian. <laughs> Wait, what? If you took your age and you subtracted subtract it by fifteen. Years, years, took my how age excited and subtracted would you have been? it by what? Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. yeah. 15 years? Yes. You'd be How 10? How excited would you have been for this moment? You'd be 10 years old, right, Brian? I would be 10 years old. <laughs> Ooh. I guess I would be still pretty excited. Like about the same? Yeah, about the same, I think. Hmm. What about you, Chris? What do you think? I guess seeing as how I was like 15 and uh, I was in the... I was probably catching up or have been caught up to one piece by then and still have like the fresh excitement from any slobby at least one or seven in any slobby oh yeah yeah, i've definitely cleared those by now and okay all right uh yeah i think i'd be pretty stoked about that oh that means i don't know what the fuck is going on like like we're talking about like on a scale of 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 one to ten like a mm, 80 right that's not 10 (laughs) you said 80 (laughs) yeah it did derp (laughs) <laughs> no i meant to emphasize that no you didn't stop like it <laughs> eight times you said ten. 80 you said on a scale of one to ten i'm talking about yeah. like 80 <laughs> yeah that much more you could have saved yourself by saying just percent i was making the joke of exact you know what were you what i'm trying to say is 15 year old us would have been out the fucking window about that mm-hmm I would have been outside my window right now. <laughs> yeah, and you, how about so you now? How about you as a 30-year-old? 
it's very mellow. It's like, okay, let's see what's going to happen. You know, <laughs> so not that no spin, no chair spins. Yeah. When I read no it earlier. It, you know what it got for me? A head nod. Like, ah, okay. Let's see. Yeah. Well, let's see. Well, that's just the wisdom you know? of age, you know, of being uh, hard traveled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, metaphorically speaking, through yeah. all the series we've uh, yeah, read and, you know we've uh, we've absorbed yeah. a lot of stories. I I agree. I wasn't like spinning my chair either. The word is jaded, but I mean this it's still exciting. Yeah, I wasn't spinning my chair about it, but I was still like, well, that's cool. I'm yeah, here for that. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone listening, I want you guys to think about that. I mean, remember the young you, the younger you, if you're not already. A teenager or adult listening, but the adults that was reading manga for the real vets, you know, mm -hmm. bring it back to that time when it dropped on a Friday and you was like, "Oh boy, Ooh. what's pain gonna do next?" You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let your inner child what, enjoy this. What's Sasuke about to do next with this Sharingan? You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. Oh, Dondo has a Sharingan. Oh, wait, he has 12? <laughs> On his you know arm? I, mean? I was starting to get jaded at that time, actually. <laughs> that should really? Be Damn, that was early. <laughs> we was going in on that. <laughs> oh, yeah, his <laughs> eye his eye arms. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. It was, yeah you guys it was called it the smart. kaleidoscope or some shit? Did we? Yeah. I actually don't Sound remember. Like I don't remember what we called we it. We boiled him. We boiled him for we like did boil him. minutes. Yeah, we were, we were young and energetic, and we boiled everything that we touched. <laughs> You guys mm -hmm. are going kaleidoscope. <laughs> what do you use this? You go kaleidoscope. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I, are we all? Fin oh, did you give your deep thoughts? Yeah. No, Chris? I didn't give my deep thoughts. Uh, oh, shit. All right. Let's honestly, go. Honestly, like through our, through our little discussion, I've uh, I've I've expressed a lot of my deeper thoughts already. But uh, have you accumulated any new ones? Not not particularly. Um, I guess I'll just like reiterate if this is J Saturn. Oh, Jay Garcia Saturn, the saint himself, coming in and personally taking care of business. I love that idea that these, it, it just gives my respect to the Gorose so much more because like for a long time, I've always pegged them as just these guys that are like sitting back and be like, that one, destroy that one. But no, if they, if it comes down to it, they'll do it their fucking selves. And I, this is now problematic. <laughs> so I'm going to... <laughs> Get down there. <laughs> yeah, it looks it, it looks like, like I'm gonna have to come down myself and take care of shit. Uh I think that's uh really cool. Uh if that's the case, if it is uh Jay Garcia, uh it adds just like a new level of threat to just like the the world government. As if we didn't need already like another antagonist group, because <laughs> we have like 15 at this point. Uh yeah. But uh, I'm I'm really excited about it because these characters, in theory, are like ones that characters uh, that Oda has had in mind forever. So we know their powers are going to be pretty wild if they have any. Uh, I wonder why Jay Garcia is Saturn specifically. If he's like some science guy that is specifically the best guy to take care of this island in particular. So. There's the theory because Saturn is re is related to time that he's in charge of covering up the um, the uh, the events of the called? past, the Void Century. Mm. So anything related to the Void Century or he uh, himself government cover ups. How is Saturn? Like he's the guy who oversees it. When you say Saturn is related to time, do you mean that he's like that the planet is? Yeah, the planet is like the symbolism for the planet is time. Oh. Really? Is that true? Yeah. yeah, I never heard of that. Where'd you read? Like, in what folklore? I'm not, I just never heard of that. Yeah, I've never heard of it either. I mean, that is interesting. So I wonder what the other planets are. I mean, what is like Mars, like... So Venus is love. Mars is... War, right? War, I think. Oh, um, man. One of these motherfuckers is war. <laughs> uh, Pluto is death. Yeah. But that's already a thing. Mercury. Okay, so Uranus in, um in Roman mythology Not my Saturn anus. is time. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Brian.
died. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> um, and and Roman, uh, Saturn is time is the time lord or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, this um, is in Roman. Um, okay. Yeah, er, and Gaia's Earth, mm. of course. Aries is Mars. Zeus is Jupiter. Uh, Hermes is Mercury. So I guess that's like the messenger. Yeah, we so, don't we don't know any of the other. Who's Saturn again? Who who's Saturn? Jay Kronos. Garcia, the guy that's on oh, the island. Shit, no, Chrono. So that is time. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh. And um, all right. So basically, with the three, the three um, what's it called? The three uh, oh, ancient, ancient weapons, weapons. Yeah. The five Gursei would be the ones to fill in the rest of the galaxy, or the rest of That's the true. solar system, essentially. Well, one of them's Poseidon. So, what, which one would that be? There's Uranus, not That's mine. Neptune. Uh, oh yeah, Neptune. Wow. Damn. So that's crazy. There's Poseidon, there's Uranus, and there's Pluton, which is Pluto. And then the last five would be the Guruset, right? Yeah. And there's like potential that like these weapons can be people. We haven't seen the Pluton necessarily. The Pluton has been said to be a ship, but we haven't seen. So the Guruset could be ancient weapons of their, uh, in their own right. Yeah. And so can uh, Uranus. Well, this. There's no, only no, three. Josh, not Uranus. Uh, yes, no. I think um, I think Uranus could be um, could be uh, fucking Eneru. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, I think that's 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 the Imagine? chance for me. Because I, he mentioned that Eneru will be back, and I think he said that. Yeah, he has mentioned it before. We'll have to see, man. That's why everybody's so hyper aware of fucking when Enru will show up. They'd just be bringing out, oh, he said Enru will be back, so uh, he's going to show up right here in Wano. He's just going to show up in Wano. That, that's what he's going to do. <laughs> we like, all did that at any, some point. Anytime there's a silhouetted <laughs> person, that everybody thinks it's Enru first. Yeah, that, that's, that's true. At this point, even I think it's Enru. <laughs> like, it makes sense for it to be Enru, for Enru to oh, be Uranus. It does. He's coming in from the sky. He's a, he was on uh, the moon up till now. Did they always have your? Uh, I don't want to say it anymore. They don't. Didn't they have, always have ancient weapon though. No, they only yeah, have ancient yeah, weapons. Could have, probably be replicated, much like Pluton. Yeah, that's true. Pluton you, was. Well, you can Pluton rebuild. Can be replicated. You can rebuild Pluton in theory. That's why they wanted the blueprints, because in theory you could build it again. So there's the Pluton that exists, and then there's the blueprints for Pluton that exists as well. Well, they don't exist anymore. Frankie burned them. That's what you think. Well, he burned them. He probably memorizes that shit. He probably... He, yeah, that's that's possibly a thing. They can't replicate Poseidon. No, Poseidon's a person. Which is Shirahoshi. I'm surprised they even let her get go to the uh, reverie. They should have kept her home. But they don't know. Everyone didn't know that, right? I actually don't know. They probably knew. Or they probably they yeah, they probably don't know. Because that was like a fact that was given it to us by like uh exposition, like the the, the box, the narrator in theory. Mm. So it could be possible that nobody knows she's Poseidon. Which is pretty crazy. Yeah. Anyway, that's a, that's a pretty cool theory that in, that technically all of them could be ancient weapons, and there's three that just split off and are like lost. But I don't know. There's just so much that has to be explained left in One Piece. I don't know how he's going to do this in five years. <laughs> uh, I believe in that. It's easy. It won't be done in five years. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I've never taken that seriously. I feel like when people, when they give you their timelines, they don't know. They're just like, well, five years is what I think. But that doesn't mean that's what it's going to be. Anyway, those are pretty much all my thoughts on it. Um, I, I'm i excited to see Luffy and Kaku and, and Luchi and Zoro team up. That would be cool. Uh, especially we get to see more of their awakened forms, all of them. Uh, it would be pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't got much else to say, uh, on one piece. Fantastic chapter. 